My name's Amanda Markley. I am a zookeeper. That entails everything from cleaning up after the animals, training the animals, feeding them, and uh, keeping an eye on their overall health. Honestly, when I was a kid, my aunt went to um, SeaWorld and brought me back a book, and it had pictures of the whale trainers, and I said I wanted to do that. I work with some marine mammals, but I grew to love zoo animals and the variety. The ones that I work with in Africa down in plains are the Barbary sheep called Udads, they're from Africa as well, and then uh, the Red River Hawks and the African Spurthai tortoises. Some people have that negative view of zoos and animals in captivity and they don't realize that zookeepers are giving the animals things to do and to make their lives better. They just think, oh, it's in captivity, the animal's unhappy, the animal's sad, the animal's stressed out. Well, actually, if you go to a zoo and you look around and you'll see different enrichment things, you'll see training demonstrations, whether it's a show or whether it's husbandry behaviors that you'll see. Um, I think it's great for the public to know that behind it all, you might see the animal laying down taking a nap, which is fine, that's what they do, but behind the scenes, so much more is going on. The zookeepers are working so hard to keep those animals happy and healthy. And if they were bored and stressed out and upset, they wouldn't be eating. You know, they wouldn't be relaxed and laying down taking a nap on exhibit. They, you know, they'd show stressful signs. So if you see an animal in a zoo, just know that a lot more is going on behind the scenes. But hopefully you get to see some of the fun stuff too. Enrichment is an aspect of behavioral management where we're trying to stimulate the animal's senses, whether it's touch, sight, smell, auditory, everything. So we're trying to give them a variety of different things to interact with throughout their day to keep them busy and learning and enjoying life. We do a lot of research on the animal and say, the Red River Hawks, what do, what, what do they do in the wild? What is their behavior like in the wild? Well, they're nocturnal. They rely a lot on um, sense of smell, taste, and touch, because at nighttime they don't see very well. Um, so they have very sensitive whiskers all over their body, and they're obviously a very sensitive smell with their big nose. And so you take those characteristics and say, okay, what can we give these guys that would use those senses. So, for example, since they love different smells, they're very smell-orientated. Spices and extracts and animal fur from other animals and um, maybe even urine from other animals, things like that, lures. Those kinds of things really excite them because naturally it would in the wild. This is strictly visual enrichment. The first time that I gave them this the other day, it was the funniest. I laughed so hard. It was so funny. They saw the reflection, which they hadn't before, here at least, while well, they've been here. And um, Persephone, the female river hog, vocalized at it because she, <laughs> I don't know if she was afraid or if she was angry that there was another river hog in here, but she was yelling at that river hog. And <laughs> then she started batting it all around. And so visually, she was so stimulated and she loved it. And she played with this, things, this thing for like two hours straight. Harley turned out to be kind of a big baby, whereas Persephone is much more brave. Um, so that was a little bit surprising because he's much bigger than her. He's a big male. You'd think he'd be all tough, but he's kind of uh, nervous of new things. This is new. This was recently donated through our enrichment tree. Um, a member of the public picked this out specifically for the river hogs. It's just a big plastic tube and it's hollow. And so I drilled some holes in it and I can put small pieces of food or grain in here and they have to hit it around to make food come out. Big paper bags. Kind of boring, right, to you? What are you gonna do with paper bags? But we, well, first it's reusing the materials that we get here at the zoo, so their bedding comes in these bags and we just cut the top off and we can use these for puzzle feeders. You can stuff it with hay, you can stuff it with browse, you can put other paper bags in here to make just a big ball of paper and they just bat it around. Or they, 
the river hogs particularly love to rip it up. I mean, they make nests and so they rip it up into tiny little pieces and add it to their nest. And the oodads love these too. Uh, there's one oodad in particular, Libby. She loves to smash them with her head and then fling them around. Like it's her favorite, favorite thing. For me, when I come into work and there's a giant mess because the animals had a fun day, I love it because I just say, oh my gosh, look what they did. And yeah, I gotta clean it up, but I don't care because they had so much fun doing it. And I love watching them make a huge mess, it's great. Our keepers are really, really motivated. We love our animals. We like to give them the best life possible. And it's a great zoo. We want them to have fun. We want them to be learning and using their brains and getting exercise and being wild animals. They are in captivity, but our job is to give them the most enriching and most fulfilling life that we can.